Uh, my name is Amy Monsky. I live in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm currently the um, executive director for the Atheist Alliance of America. I'm also the president of the Secular Humanist of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina, and the camp director for Camp Quest, South Carolina. I'm atheist, and I'm openly secular. Excellent. <laughs> so um, I'm an atheist. I also identify as a humanist and secular. I have three children. My boys are 14 and 12 and my daughter's eight. And my hope with everything, and they really are kind of the driving force behind what I do because I want the world to be a better, safer world for them. And so my hope for them is that when they grow up, they'll look back and wonder what all the fuss was about. I was raised Catholic. And I'd like to say that I was one of those kids who saw through it and saw the nonsense. I wasn't, I believed. It started in my high school years as a senior when I started questioning my faith and it revolved around the question of what it meant to be a good person and what it meant to have morality that was in line with the church or not. So if God created me and God gave me this brain and I used it, but I came to a different conclusion, but I used the gear he gave me, you know, what gives? So that was really the beginning for me, and by the time I finished college, I was identifying as an atheist. One of the uh, responses that I get sometimes, uh, and not so much anymore, but, oh, but you're such a good person. Like, you're such a nice person. How, how can this be? So people's idea of what it means to be a good person is definitely wrapped up in the idea of a belief in God. So that's a misconception that I have, have seen a lot. I think it's extremely important for atheists and humanist non-believers to be out and to be open about who they are because right now it's it's mysterious. There's a lot of unknown there. People think that you can only be good if you're a Christian and it, most of that is just um, because they don't know. Most people don't even know that they know an atheist. So it's important to be out to remove that mystery to make it normal and to and when we make it normal we can help take away the stigma. It also helps so it helps normalize it for people who are Christians and who just are believers. But for the people that are on the, the fence about what they believe, what they don't believe, or the people who, who don't believe but don't realize that there is a huge community out there, and, and there is a huge community out there, um, it helps give them um, you know, a beacon, a place to go. If they have questions, they know who to ask. If they just want to vent or confess. You know, to come out to get this off their chest and to be able to say, my name is Amy and I am an atheist. It gives them a place to do it. Not everybody has this. And so it's very important to let other people know what an atheist looks like and that it's okay. And that if you have questions, you can come and talk to me. I am a safe landing place for you.